I believe there are over a billion add-ons for Blender and when you're dealing with such large numbers, it's easy to miss the best ones. So today let's look at 30 most iconic Blender add-ons on the Blender market. And we're going to do it quickly like we're selling much on the Chinese TikTok. Starting off with the forest generator, this was released about two years ago and it was among the first add-ons to take advantage of geometry nodes to create biomes and ecosystems that mimic the real world. It also gave you tools to carve out space for roads, buildings and other elements you wanted to integrate into the forest. All procedural and everything is connected. Next up we have Flip Fluids, the alternative to the built-in fluid solver, Mantaflow. It's iconic for its custom forces that allow you to form the fluids and control them in ways you can't do with Mantaflow. Another great add-on is the iconic procedure building generator that turns your meshes into houses of different shapes. When you extrude any face, it turns into a different room with decorations like windows, doors, and fuck it. The add-on comes with different presets for different architectural designs. Next up, we have Lens Sim. Without this add-on, Blender renders tend to look artificial and have that unnatural look because basically Blender cameras are just trying to solve a math equation. Lens Sim improves your render by simulating natural lens effects on top of what Blender has done. There are many libraries for materials and textures, but there are not many libraries for tone shaders and stylized shaders. Komikaze is one of those few libraries that you can get your hands on that has quality and variety. Alpha Trees is iconic because it's simply one of a kind. You won't find any other add-on that does this. If you want to render a large forest, instead of rendering every tree as geometry, it just renders every tree as a texture card with a plane and an image of a tree with Alpha Channel, making it possible to render large forests on a computer with low specs. The sky and atmosphere usually takes up about 50% of your render space, so it is important to find the right add-on to create the skies for you. Physical starlight and atmosphere is among the best in that category. It creates animated clouds, a day and night cycle, and atmospheric fog. Another iconic add-on in the list is Procedure Crowds. This is two in one. It's an add-on with a library built on top of it. It's an add-on which allows you to populate cities, stadiums, and your scenes with crowds, but it's also a library of characters. If you want just a single character to walk around, they have different animation presets, walk cycles, run cycles, idle cycles, and more. Next up is the City Generator. This goes without any explanation. If you want a city, however large it is, as long as your computer can handle it. This generator does everything from buildings, city streets, traffic control, cars, everything in one go. The next iconic add-on in the list is Smartify Nodes. They don't make them like this anymore. And it's all you need to make your environments feel integrated, to make everything look like it belongs. You just drag them into your scene and you can have moss, dirt, rust, and environmental effects like snow, rain, on top of all your objects so that they all feel like all belong in the same scene. Next up in the list is Global HDRI. This collection of HDRI images just reminds you that there are different types of HDRIs, the right ones and the wrong kind. So if you want rich detail, crisp lighting from your HDRI and clean reflections and refractions, these are the types of HDRIs you should be using in your scenes. Scattering objects got better when Scatterflow was launched because you could now emit RBD objects basically just scattering objects in a more natural way by just throwing them around. It's not enough to have cars in your scene, they have to drive around like it's real traffic and procedure traffic can handle that for you. Blender can't really compete with professional software like Houdini and 3ds Max without proper fracturing and visual effects tools. An RBD lab fills in that missing step to making Blender a full visual effects suit. Most known for being the main add-on for simulating water in the award-winning movie Flow, and Physics Open Waters is a fluid simulation system that does fluid simulation in real time and can be used to create fluid simulations that can be rendered in EV and cycles. While motion tracking in Blender has not been updated in a while, technology has moved on and new techniques are available. So the camera tracker add-on brings that new tech directly into Blender to give you an easier and improved motion tracking system. Next up we have Sanctus Material Library, iconic for being the largest procedure material library in Blender. With it, you have materials for tiles, concrete, metals, and everything you can think of. It's all procedural and parameters are all exposed so that you can change them at will. 
Fauna Master Pro is new but unmistakably powerful. It's a collection of different types of species of animals with different animations from large animals like rhinos, bisons to small insects, crawlers and more. Another iconic add-on is Fluid Painter. This is one of a kind a tool that I've not seen replicated anywhere else. So if you're making anything edible, Fluid Painter is your only solution to make it look spicy, tasty and irresistible. Sometimes quality can go with quantity and Arborea is one of those add-ons where you get both. The add-on itself lets you scatter and create biomes for trees, grass and different types of vegetation. But it also comes with a large variety of tree species that you can use with the add-on giving you the quality and quantity needed to create epic scenes. There are many city generators, but few can manage the detail at the scale of iCity. You can have a large city, but still have control over the detail and structure of your city, the architecture, the markings on your roads and streets, and every last detail to the trees planted are all things you can control. And from the same creator, we have iCars, an add-on and library for cars. You can use the add-on to animate cars and the library to choose what cars to animate. You can animate one, two or have a traffic control system to animate hundreds of cars. Add-ons can be quite expensive and since most of the time you need more than one, the cost can add up really quickly. So this iconic bundle of 50 add-ons can be just exactly what you need. If you get it, you're most likely going to find something you will need for your project. There are not many add-ons like Mat Plus. I guess that's why it's here in the iconic add-ons, mostly because of its layer-based approach for texture painting. You can layer different strokes of brushes, different textures, patterns, and it also comes with smart masks to mask out different areas. Next up is Divine Cut, a library and add-on for generating cloth. If you want to dress your characters, you definitely need something like this. It's not just a library of clothes, but these are simulatable so they can behave like actual cloth on your character affected by wind and other deformations. If Divine Cut is iconic for cloth simulation, the Nature Generator is iconic for creating landscapes. It's procedural and comes with a large collection of assets that you need to create these large landscapes from river generators, mountain generators, cliff generators, and a lot more. Iconic for being the most updated vegetation and plant library, you won't find any other library updated as much as Botanic. Each update comes with a set of new trees and vegetation species and other features from wind animation, scattering, IV plants, and more. Each category has its own winners and for light, we have Light Wrangler. It pioneered a lot of features like point and light where reflections and light are added directly on the surface you click. It also comes with reflection maps and other features. There are many light gobo add-ons, but I think this one is the only one that comes with animated one. And they're not just silhouettes of shadows that you add to your lights to create the gobo illusion. You can see that the shadows have depth you find in the real world. And finally, to close out the list, we have the human generator. This one is just for generating characters and it also has a library to pose your characters. The characters also come in different dresses. It's like you're working on a sim character inside Blender. And uh, as a bonus, don't forget to check out my new add-on, Send Nodes, which just lets you copy Blender objects directly from my website and paste them directly into Blender. It's a simple way to get started without starting from scratch. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.